Okay, so next step of the pick and place is to set up your robo cell with the cell setup that you just created. So I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to open up robo cell, which is separate from the cell setup. And I'm just going to create like your file new or I will just come here and start a new project. From there, I want to import my 3D model that I've created in cell setup. Again, I saved mine on my desktop. You should have saved yours on your H drive in your sim folder, ERU folder. So if I scroll down, I see we can place BB. I'm going to open. And now I'm going to resize this to fit. Make sure that you don't lose this slider bar over here somewhere so you can't reposition your your robot otherwise it'll get real confusing really quick so here's our cell setup right now I am in simulation mode if I were actually connected to the robot I could go online another option would be to be offline now <clears throat> if I will go back to my directions and I read it says up above here and this is activity 3.1.2 a that we're going to program five positions I'm going to pick and place this object somewhere else on the table and I should label them as such one two so these are the actual positions of the object 11 is above one which makes good sense 12 is above 2, and 99 is the home position. Okay, so open up RoboCell, select Pro. Okay, so to do that, I can do that two ways. One way is just to pick right here, and it gives you a little bit different selection of what you can do. Now, we'll cover robot movements a little bit. I can either move the robot, basically three ways I can do it. I can move it by the joints separately. So you got your base down here, your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, you got your pitch, which would be pitching the end effector up and down, you've got your roll this way. Some robots will have a yaw also, which would be more like side to side action. We don't have that, we don't really need it. So the easiest thing is actually just move. Cartesian coordinate mode which I'm just going to select right here so as I'm changing something down here you'll see it update in our graphic so now that the uh, end effector is open so right away what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in again just as the curriculum is telling us to do this is position 99 so I'm going to say 99 and this right here record the position so if I go to view and I look at positions I can see this is the physical X Y Z coordinates from robot zero which is basically the center line of the base so that position is now saved that was position 99 now position 1 is at the pick point so I'm going to say that at pick there's a handy button up here send robot to object I'm going to use that otherwise I'll be down here messing around with my XYZ to, to get over top of it now the robot is at the object I'm going to escape out I'm going to change my camera view a little bit so you can see there it is so that is position one right because if I go back here it said that was position one I'm moving it to position two I'm just gonna say okay I'll minimize that I'm going to call this position one and save that position 
Now I'm going to move by XYZ instead of joints. I'm going to move my Z up a ways. Now this can be a little bit deceiving. We could easily figure this out mathematically just to make sure we're high enough. But for our introduction, it's good enough to simply see that it's high enough. So I wanted to call this position 11 and record that position. Now I'm going to move back in the X, so toward the robot. And I'm going to go down in the Z. Wait, no, actually I'm going to record this position. This is going to be 12. 12, record that position. I'm going to go down in the Z. And record this as position 2. So that's been recorded. Now I'm going to reset my, my picture here, right here. Reset the work cell. I could quickly tell it to go home, but this is probably the easiest way to get back to exactly where we started from. You'll notice that it resets the camera view and, and everything. So now I can start programming. That we'll do that in the next lesson.